Hi Leo, welcome to my new YouTube channel called M Intuition Tarot. So I will be delivering messages about love for the month of June 2019. So if, if these messages do resonate, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and please reach out if you want a personal reading. Also, if these messages don't exactly resonate with you, be sure to check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, I'll provide a link below on how to get that information. So you'll just have to provide your um, date of birth with your time of birth, and you'll figure out exactly what's your moon, rising, and Venus sign. Venus is the planet of love and how we deal with love and relationships. So um, be sure to check that out. Uh, your sign is not necessarily the same as your sun sign. So yes, you're a Leo, your sun sign is a Leo, but um, the other planets can be different. So I will be taking a look at the person you're dealing with and your energy as well. And we're going to take a look at how they feel and what action steps they'll be taking. And the same thing for you. The roles can be reversed. And if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with a Leo, this can resonate as well. Uh, with your situation okay and then we'll take a look at some advice cards at the end of the reading i'll pull out some oracle cards and see what spirit has um in store for you so let's get cracking what messages do i want you to know for the month of june messages of love for the month of june for you please Messages of love for the month of June for Leo and the person Leo is dealing with. So let's take a look at what's on their mind, the person that Leo is dealing with. What's on their mind right now? What's on their mind related to the situation? Okay, so the Queen of Swords. So I'll show it to you. Okay, so this could be... This could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could be someone who's very um, good at communicating. Uh, someone who is detached emotionally. So let's take a look at what else comes up. But this is this can be an air sign. They have other mind, or this can this can be very well be a Libra. So Libra is an, is an air sign. Okay, so here, justice um, means fairness, equality. It also can mean the, um, the law of cause and effect, the law of karma. Okay, so what's on their mind, I think, is a Libra from the Queen of Swords and the Justice card. But we'll see. We'll see what comes up for them in the next few cards now let's take a look at your state of mind uh, leo what's going on in your mind there you are the leo card the sun okay so the sun can mean um it can also mean illumination things coming to light truth being revealed truths being revealed sometimes good times it means good times positivity in the air a birth of someone okay a birth we see it as a child, okay? So it can mean several different things. So let's see what else comes up for you. What else is on their mind? Four of Cups, okay. So maybe, Leo, you're feeling like um, someone is not reciprocating. Someone doesn't feel the same way about you or you don't feel the same way about them, okay? Because someone here is offering. There's the mermaid who's trying to convince the boy here and the little boy doesn't want anything to do with what she's saying so this can be like unrequited love it can be dissatisfaction uh, apathy uh, someone who's just not willing to see what is being offered okay and like i said here there's truth with the with the sun card or this can be you the leo who feels this way okay because this is a this represents leo so let's take a look leo at the situation at hand here with the knight of swords so the knight of swords is quick blunt honest communication that's not always you know sugar-coated for us um there's no emotional undertone with this type of communication it's rash it's blunt it's cutthroat okay 
So this is what I'm getting for the recent past. I'm just going to pull out another card. Yeah. So the recent past, someone had to make a decision. Someone was at a crossroads. And someone needed to make a quick decision with this Knight of Swords. Because it's quick. It's blunt. It's straightforward. Okay. So this is what we're dealing with in the recent past when it comes to this relationship. So... What is the challenge of this encounter? What is the challenge of this connection? So the emperor, the challenge is someone is not taking control, is not being in full control, is not being in their power. So like the emperor here is someone who has full control and full power over his emperor and is very protective over his emperor. So here the challenge is someone is not taking responsibility, someone is not taking control. Okay, so there needs to be someone who steps up to the plate here and takes control of the situation. So here the next card will be the advice card moving forward for Leo and the person you're dealing with. So what advice do you have for Leo in the month of June 2019, please? Okay, so here we have death. Death means changes. So here they're advising you to open up to these changes because it will come okay so this is a major arcana meaning the a uh, very big phase in our life that will come regardless of what we try to do to avoid it okay so changes transformations transitions in life that sometimes are are not easy a shedding of one's skin so there, there's definitely some changes that are being uh, suggested here. So let's take a look at the potential outcome here for the month of June. And, and like we say in the spirituality, in spirituality, that time is an illusion and energy is fluid, okay? So take it as it resonates. Maybe this might happen in the next few weeks or in the next two months, or maybe it's already happened. So here in the future card, or in the most likely outcome card, we have the hanged man. So the hanged man is, is an energy of someone who is um, completely taking a break. It's a pause. Someone who is looking at things from a different perspective, but without any action. Okay, without taking any action. So someone who's literally just hanging, hanging in there and looking at things from another perspective and not being able to make a decision so being stuck in this position this suspended position okay leo so let's take a look at the person you're dealing with and how they feel about you and we'll take a look at how you feel about them and then we'll look at the action steps on both your parts see what are you going to be doing and what are they going to be doing because it's all in the actions. Eh? Someone might feel something, but we don't know until they act on it. So this is why for me, when I deliver messages to see what they're going to do as action steps. So here, the feeling is seven of wands. So someone is blocking something, blocking their emotions, blocking themselves from feeling something. Let's get another card to validate and clarify. What is the person Leo is dealing with? Feelings. Okay. Ten of Swords. So someone is blocking or avoiding or being very defensive over this ending that needs to happen. This closure. Okay. So someone is also feeling... The Ten of Swords is someone who embodies this energy of um, betrayal and loss. Okay. So someone feels betrayed. Someone feels stabbed in the back. Someone is avoiding this to happen, this ending, this closure, the ten, tens or closure endings. This is the end, but someone is fighting it. Okay, so what is what are the feelings that Leo has for this person? The Ace of Wands, so we have passion there. Leo coming from you, some sparks, passion with the tower. Okay, so you're feeling like... You're probably emotionally a little bit out of whack with the tower. The tower moment is, it's a big moment in our life where we're releasing people, places, and things that no longer serve us. So you're probably going through an emotional 
breakdown at this point with this passion card so how do you feel is you're emotionally breaking down with all this um energy that you feel for this person this because the ace of wands is passion okay but things are looking like as if the, your feelings are being challenged let's get one more card for the feet for the feeling spread here yeah you're confused okay so here in your emotions we have the seven of cups and this is someone who is just has a lot of options someone who's confused by all these different cups and doesn't know what to do and what to choose from and which one's gonna make them feel better so you're just emotionally confused a lot of chaos illusions okay so this is what i thought let's look at the person's action steps for the month of june what will this person do coming forward with leo what will this person do coming forward in the month of june i want two cards please thank you what will this person do in the month of june in this situation okay so i think someone's going to have to make a decision so the lovers is a decision in love making a choice do i stay or do i go okay it's the card of soulmates but in the action card it's more of a decision a dis he, he or she will be making a decision about this soulmate connection okay so not all soulmates are meant to stay together some come for a reason in a season so yeah making a decision to um express their love because the king of cups is is um an energy of someone who feels a lot for the other person but doesn't necessarily open up okay it's difficult for them to open up however they do feel a lot because there's a lot of water in this card and water represents emotions in the tarot so someone will be making decision about opening up and about opening up how they feel for you which is love because this is love king of cups very loving card okay excellent so this at least tells us what they will be doing however what will you be doing is is what remains so the nine of wands is someone who will be okay we have other yeah so you'll be i think you have a lot of perseverance with this nine of wands you want to continue battling you want to continue moving forward even though you have challenge you've had challenges in the past with those wands in the back uh you're still not backing down from your challenge from the challenges that are going to come forward and then here with the king of swords this king of swords is someone who's very communicative it can be also a libra aquarius or gemini an air sign okay so communicating not backing down from a fight with the six of cups um dealing with um past past life soulmate connections dealing with it could even be children. Six of Cups is dealing with people from our past, but it can also be dealing with children and, and, and nostalgia. So dealing with someone from your past or a soulmate, past life soulmate. So maybe you've known this person before in, a, in another life, in a past life, and you're not backing down from this soulmate connection. And you're communicating it quite clearly here with the King of, King of Swords. Okay, or you may be dealing with, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And from what I understand, this person is a Libra or Aquarius or Gemini because this is their energy. This is what's on their mind. Libra. And we have another king, a uh, queen of swords. So we have counterparts here. There's a lot of air in the person that you're dealing with. Maybe they have a lot of air in their chart. Okay, so let's take a look at what the romance angels have to say. So advice on the romance in the month of June. So someone feels a lot. You both do actually. And 
both of you are not going to back down from what it looks like. But what does spirit think? What do the romance angels think? What advice do they have for this connection? Okay. Passion. Allow your heart to sing. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Okay, so passion, I guess they're telling you here to follow this passion, but also follow your own passions. What are you passionate about? Because the more we um, pursue our passions within ourselves, then we are able to give passion in return when it comes to our relationships. Okay, let's take a look at what else they want to say. Yeah, so that confirms everything I've been saying, Leo. This is definitely a soulmate, and this is why both of you cannot let go of each other. Okay, this is definitely a soulmate connection. It has a lot of passion there. So if you've been wondering, yeah, you're definitely soulmates. We have three soulmate cards on in this spread. Okay, so the two cards here say, the first one says to stay optimistic about your love life. So maybe one of you has been a little bit more um, confused. <laughs> That's probably you from what we saw before. And you're probably not sure and you're at a stance and both of you maybe are at a, at a crossroads. And in the, in the future, we see that there's a bit of a pause button here. There's like a little bit of a break. Okay, but staying here to stay optimistic about your love life because it will get better. And romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So continue exploring these feelings, continue being open and positive, and continue pursuing your passion, not only for the relationship, but also in your daily activities and hobbies. Okay, this is what I get from these cards. Excellent, Leo. Let's take a look at the Angel Answer cards. For more advice for Leo in the month of June, please. Advice for Leo and their connection, their soulmate connection in the month of June. So whoever you're dealing with, whoever's on your mind, whoever you're talking to, this is definitely a soulmate. But you guys are optimistic. Okay, so it says no. So I'm not sure what that means. It could be different for everybody. Let's see what else they say. That card is quite ambiguous. It's frustrating when spirit gives us... Quite... Oh, and then we have yes. Okay, so now I understand. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> amazing. Oh my goodness, it's it's incredible. So yes with exclamation point and no exclamation point. So here, when this happens, spirit and the angels are saying you have two options. The first one is no, and the other one is yes. So it's up to you on how to decipher which one is best for you, okay? Now, it makes sense that you have options and that you're confused because you had the seven of cups. So this validates and confirms my message before, which said that you, you're you confused, you don't know which way to go. One way is yes, spirit saying, one way is no. So please use your intuition when it comes to making big decisions like this. Because yes, there will be a decision that has to be made with that hanged man. You're just delaying it. These are delays. So delaying the decision. Let's take a look. I'm gonna see what else the Roma, the Angel Answers cards want us to know. Okay, we have a lot of cards here. We have three cards, so let's start with this one. Choose a new direction. Okay, so one of these options here are not it is obviously not the right choice for you. So try to find a way and get more information. So that you can change direction. You can change your destiny. And cut through what is not clear. Okay? So ask. Ask for information. Whether it's to your angels or spirit guides. But you need to get more information about the situation. It's not clear. 
Okay, so choose new direction and get more information. And then it says here you're ready. So with whatever phase in your life that you're going through or whatever changes you're going through, because I see that you are dealing with some changes with the death card and the tower card. They say that you're ready to move forward. You're ready to move up spiritually. Okay, you've learned the lessons uh, from this previous encounter, this previous connection, and now you're ready to move forward. I'm going to get another card. Okay, I'm going to just make the energies quick with the yoke today. Hold on. Let me get another card. Let me just shuffle again. What else do they want you to know? What else do they advise you to do? And that one flew out. My goodness. Compromise. Okay, so take a look at both. So you see that was your comprom the compromises that you have to find a middle ground. You have to see which one is best for you. You have to get more information. Okay, I'm actually going to read that one from the book because it's always interesting to see what the book says. These are specific messages. So it says, in order to create a happy outcome for the situation, you will find it necessary to compromise. Allow yourself some time to become clear about what is truly important to you. Also, take note of matters where you would be open to changing your position. Work towards an agreement with, e with everyone wins. Where everyone wins. Be open to cooperation that allows you to get what you need while also assisting others in fulfilling their desires. Be objective in finding a balance between respecting everyone else's viewpoints and still being true to your own. Okay, so that's going to be different for everybody. So take it as it resonates. Okay, so get more information. Choose a new direction. You're ready to move forward in this new direction. And there's going to be a compromise to be made. And you're going to have to choose between what's good for you and what's not. Yes or no. Okay. So let's take a look at what the lover's oracle cards want to give you as messages for the month of June 2019. Month of June 2019. So it says to wait, don't rush into it, allow nature to take its course. So these are for the Leos who are trying to make a decision and they're trying to rush through it. But they're saying to wait, remember with that get more information card and choose a new direction. So, I, so don't make any rash decisions, don't make any decisions that are, that are probably going to be... Um, made in haste in a hasty fashion you see things in the past from what i see is that with this knight of swords is that maybe someone made a quick decision that was not exactly good for them and in the future it's telling you that you're going to need to take a pause and see things from a different perspective and let things unfold okay let things just unfold naturally Let's take a look at another card. What else do you want to tell Leo for the month of June? Okay, so Capricorn got this one as well. So it's all about acceptance here. So acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay, so I think you need to learn how to accept the situation. Accept that maybe... Yes, it was your soulmate. Maybe accept that you need to change your perspective. A different outlook, more positive outlook, even if it doesn't work out. And even if you need to choose a new direction. That these are things sometimes that we can't control, okay? The universe gives us what we need. And then when the lesson is learned then we have to move on we have to move forward because we have to progress spiritually in this lifetime 
Okay, so take the le keep the lessons and let go of control. Okay, just let go. The more we let go, the more we'll feel like as if we're in tune with, with the in we're more in flow with the universe. Okay, this is what I'm getting with that one. And then I'll take out one or two. These are the whispers of love. Oracle. What advice do you have for me for the month of June? What advice do you have for you for the month of June? You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to. It's a beautiful card. Okay, so stay optimistic. You are limitless. You can do anything you put your mind to. And don't don't give up. Okay, don't give up. Even if this connection is not what you thought it would be. Although it is a very strong soulmate connection. They're the most difficult ones because they teach us big lessons. But don't don't give up like this girl here she's not giving up her fight okay you are limitless you have limitless powers in this lifetime and we're gonna do one more this is great beautiful oh two wanted to come out okay be in the present and dream of the future yeah so here it says when we dream everything is possible so living in the present moment, not controlling, not trying to control what's going to come next for us. Okay, letting go of that control. But at the same time, not backing down and find the strength to move on, to move forward. And then we have the heart of the matter. Hmm. So here it says there is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what is what this is all about. Okay, so gonna be different for everybody but there's something going on and get to the heart of the matter see what's going on okay communicate get more information this is what this is what it's saying get more information get to the heart get to the get to what's important here go straight to to what's important in this situation what's important to you in order for you to move forward because you're ready remember you're ready okay leo so thank you so much for tuning in I really hope these messages uh, resonated with you. And if they didn't, please be sure to check out your moon, uh, rising, and Venus signs. And uh, you can also reach out to me on social media. So my Instagram is m underscore intuition underscore tarot. And my Facebook page is Emily Petruccelli. Um, you can also email me for a personal reading. And... Um, yeah, so thank you so much. If this resonated, subscribe, comment, like... Uh, so that I can continue continue doing these uh, on a daily and even monthly basis. And so thank you. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Lots of blessings to you.